Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the very first video on my channel. Um, so my name is Christina. It's very nice to meet all of you. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, it's going to be a tour of my New York City studio apartment. So I live here with uh, my husband, Nick. We just recently moved here from California. So this is actually the very first apartment where I really put a lot of thought into decorating and picking out the furniture just because we are planning on staying um, in New York City pretty long term. So I definitely wanted to create a home where we would feel very comfortable and you know pretty happy here in the big city. And also apologies for my face today. It is um, April 2020 um, and if you guys have been following the news New York City's on a lockdown and I ended up leaving all of my makeup in my office before we were ordered to stay home so just bear with me but yeah anyways without further ado um, here's our apartment so I'm gonna start right here at our front door so this is what it looks like when you walk into our apartment we have Nick's closet on this side I also keep some of my shoes here and then we have our kitchen so I'm actually going to start right here, as you can tell it's a very small kitchen, um, but I think it's pretty good size for New York City. My old kitchen is actually probably half the size, but I do really like it because they actually renovated the kitchen right before we moved in, so everything here is brand new. Um, all the appliances are stainless steel appliances, super nice, and I think cabinets are new as well. So we have a fridge over here, it's kind of mid-sized or so, but definitely enough space for two people like to keep our magnets over here from places that we travel to as well as all the pictures and cards from friends and um, family so it fits in pretty well right here and then we have our gas stove um, I think it's kind of a small size smaller size stove but again works very well for us we also have the oven everything is brand new really like it and then we have our dishwasher over here which is a super nice thing to have it's not very common for new york city to have dishwashers but we do have one even though it's a little bit smaller as well um what i do like is we have our microwave kind of up here uh, definitely saves a lot of space so you can use it as a vent as you can probably tell there's a surface light here as well if you are you know trying to snack in the middle of the night in the kitchen over here we usually try to keep all of our fruits and healthy snacks um, just to motivate ourselves to eat better we have our little soda stream which uh, is a good investment because we love sparkling water and i keep my oven mitts <laughs> over here um and this is the main cooking area I definitely wish we had more counter space, but you know, it works for now. This is our little baby. We absolutely love coffee. So we got ourselves an espresso machine. Um, if you don't know what it is, definitely Google it. It's definitely a really good investment. We love using it, we pretty much use it every day for, you know, keep all of our pots up here. We can do a better job organizing them. Whatever, <laughs> we'll get to that at one point. Our sink, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then over here I keep things like garlic, onions, and other things that we usually use when we cook. And our trash goes under here. We have plenty of storage up here for all of our plates and silverware. So yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen. We just have this little ugly corner over here because we couldn't figure out where to put all the, you know, things like the Swiffer and paper towels so we just use this corner for now maybe eventually we'll figure out what to do with all of this um and here's our main living area i don't know what happened to with that pillow <laughs> but um yeah most of the stuff that you see is all from amazon our couch was probably the most expensive item that we got for the apartment but it's definitely a very good investment um we also got it from amazon from a third party seller it has some storage under here where you know we keep all of our blankets and sometimes we put our laptops and as you can see a lot of water bottles right here um so it's definitely very useful so it's an l-shaped couch um we like to sometimes just lay out over here and you can also turn it into a bed which is super useful if you have any visitors or friends and family coming from out of town 
our rug is also from amazon i really really love the way it looks and kind of the whole look and feel of it our table is from overstock um it's not real <laughs> marble but i really like how it looks especially the golden you know color at the bottom it matches very well with our lamp right here the little plate i found at goodwill somebody was getting rid of the entire set but ended up getting one of those because um, it matches well with the pillows and the rug and overall I think it looks super cute. So the little basket over here, I actually got it together with a larger one in that corner. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was getting rid of them and I was like, oh my god, I definitely want them. Paid $30 for two of them. A super nice, you know, way to kind of keep some of the clutter a little bit or more organized. And here we have um, our gallery wall. So I definitely put a lot of thought into it and it took me a while to put this together, but um, I got two of these posters online from this place called The Poster Store. I really love it. And they have a lot of awesome, you know, posters that match well together. So they're perfect for if you're trying to put together a gallery wall. And then these two pictures, I got them from Nick. He has this hobby when he tries to, you know, go around the city and take pictures of uh, bridges and the buildings. So I just printed them out in staples and put them in the frame. It's very inexpensive way to, you know, create a gallery wall. This piece over here is our last name. I just did it myself, just downloaded a cool font, printed it out in the office printer, put it in a frame, again, saving money. And then this thing over here, um, so if you like reading books, you probably know um, where this is from. So Huga is the ritual of enjoying life's simple pleasures, friends, family, graciousness, resonates super well with us. So that's uh, another thing I just printed out and put it in the frame. The frame is a little beaten up because it's from Goodwill, but um, I think overall it looks pretty nice together. So yeah, that's our living room. Um, I get a lot of questions about our fireplace on social media. Um, it's also one of my other really, you know, my favorite pieces in the whole apartment. So we got this whole TV console. Um, obviously the fireplace comes with it. Uh, we got it from Walmart during the holidays. So they had a really good deal for it. I think I only ended up paying about $160 for this whole giant piece of furniture, which I think is a really good deal. So obviously it's not a real fireplace, but um, you know, you can turn it on um, like as a extra lighting um, in your bedroom. And it also has the heating option, but apparently consumes too much electricity. So every time we do it, it shuts down the power. So we just decided not to do it. Um, we have our smart TV. It's about 50 inches. Uh, we love it. We use it a lot. And then this thing over here is our air filter. Obviously, we live in the city, so not very good quality air. So it definitely helps, you know, with the whole pollution situation over here. If you ever take it apart, it's super gross, but I'm not going to talk about it. And then right here is my new favorite corner of the whole apartment. Uh, since we are ordered to shelter in place right now by the government, we have to work from home. So we just thought it would be a good thing to do uh, just to buy a little desk over here. It's also from Amazon. It has some extra storage right here. Um, we brought our laptops and screens from the office. And we have this little plant. I also got it from Amazon. I know I do need a pot planner, but I'll get to it eventually. And this candle is actually a gift from Nick's boss. It's super sweet of her. She sent it to us in the mail as you know, some emotional support in these confusing times. And this poster is actually from the same place where I got all my other posters. Um, but I think it goes very well with the whole color scheme and um, just the aesthetics of the apartment. So I really like it. And our chair, um, it's actually a folding chair. You can totally tell it's super cheap, but I actually think it kind of looks very cool and matches the metal thing with, um, with the screen. So you can fold it up. I um, just tuck it away during lunch and I use this space for all my yoga workouts. So yeah, multi-purpose corner. <laughs> right here is our bed. We try to keep it super simple. Um, we got our sheets from Amazon. I really like them. They're really high quality. Um, so it was a good investment, especially, you know, 
you can never spend too much money <laughs> on your sleep um our black pillow is from marshall's the wall art is from amazon um i think it just looks very cute and simple right here a lamp is from overstock um i like the fact that you know we put it right here so you can use it to read on the couch or in, in the bed um, so it works well for both sides um, in the last part of our living area is our double dresser um, it's my side this is Nick's side we use it to keep some of our pictures over here so this is us in the wine country with Nick's parents this is us at our courthouse wedding this is me and Annie, my roommate from college on our graduation day. Super cute. And we used to surface just for vitamins and some random things. And this thing over here, we actually use it to keep all of our mail. Um, gets disorganized pretty quickly. So it's just a nice thing that we got to keep everything tucked in right here. I think it's actually for your office papers, but you know, works well as a mail holder as well. Um, this is a mirror. I got it on Facebook as well. Somebody was getting rid of it. They were only asking $5. It's actually a $50 Ikea mirror. I was like, hey, just hold on to it. I'll be right there. So I just ran over and picked it up. And last part is our bathroom. Um, I think it's super spacious, especially for New York City standards. Um, I really like it. Great lighting. We have this storage thing over here that we got from Walmart. Um, it's definitely a good way to, you know, create extra storage space if you ever try to create more storage in your bathroom. We have our sink, self-explanatory. Our, our hamper over here where I like to keep all my laundry kind of separated. This artwork, um, I actually painted myself during one of those wine and paint nights. Um, I really love, you know, going to those places. So I just decided to keep one of those over here for the bathroom. And then we have my closet over here. I know it's very weird to have a closet in the bathroom, I think. Um, but yeah, here's where I keep most of my clothes. Um, but it works really well when you try to get out of the shower in the morning. So you can just hop over here, get dressed, get ready for the day. And um, yeah, without even, have to, without even having to get out of the bathroom. Yep, so that's pretty much our little studio apartment. Um, so I know that's a little bit more personal, but a lot of people have been asking me how much we pay for rent and a little more about neighborhood. Um, I hope this would be useful if you are trying to move to New York City from somewhere else. So just to give you an idea, we pay $27.75 for our apartment. I know that's a lot of money for the space that we get. Um, you can definitely get something a lot more affordable for us. It was just important to live in a very nice neighborhood. We are both just 10 minute walking distance away from our offices, which is a luxury in New York City where most of the people's commute is, I think, like between 40 minutes to an hour on the subway. So for us, we don't have to ride the subway every morning. We can just walk and, you know, sleep in a little bit more, just spend some time doing something else rather than commuting. So for us, it was very important. Um, we'll live in Midtown East, which is more of like a business area, but I think our little block is a little bit more residential. So there are a lot of really nice bars and restaurants and grocery stores. So uh, we definitely love having um, that kind of convenience. Also, the reason why our rent is a little bit higher is because we live in the Dorman building, uh, which it's definitely not a necessity to have a doorman, but it's very convenient because your packages never get stolen. Um, they don't let the strangers up. So overall, it feels a little bit safer. And then we also do have a little gym in our building as well. Uh, it's super tiny. It's kind of like something that they added on just to say that they have a gym. It's not, it's just like one treadmill and um, a couple of weights or so, but it's very convenient. Plus, um, the most important thing for me was also to have laundry, at least on site in the building. If you follow anybody else um, who you know lives in New York City, most of the people have to take their laundry and take it to the laundromat, which is, you know, sometimes you have to drag them several blocks away, which 
my first apartment I would have to walk five blocks with my laundry just to get it clean and then you know schedule my time so I would come back and do all those things I just didn't really want to deal with it so I just decided to uh, pay extra money to have that convenience I'm very grateful that we are both able to afford that obviously splitting rent with Nick really helps me to be able to live somewhere like this I would never be able to do it on my own um, but yeah we just decided to trade space for all of the other conveniences that we have but either way I really hope you enjoyed this tour let me know if you have any questions um, definitely appreciate if you guys can follow and subscribe because I'm um, just starting out this channel so all your support will be highly appreciated all right thank you have a good one